this year Lakato Ori, a factional umbrella body for ESME in the country, has said it is opposed to the ban imposed on open grazing of cattle by Southwest governors. He said the enforcement of the ban was tantamount to an eviction notice. This is, however, against the position of the Miyeti Alakatu Breeders Association of Nigeria, which had a meeting with some governors in Akure, the Ondo state capital, on January 25th, said it agreed with the position of the governors. The meeting in Akure was attended by the chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum and governor of Ikiti State, Dr. Kayo Defayemi, governor Adegboiga Oyetola of Oshun State, Mohamed Badaru, of Jigawa State, Roti Miyakredolu of Ondo State and Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State. Magban was led to the meeting by its chairman, Alaji Muhammad Mahamadu Kirua, among other attendees. Apart from Southwest governors, governors in the Southeast had previously banned open grazing and movement of cows on foot into the Southeast. But in an interview with Saturday Punch, the Security General of Mietiala, the Secretary General of Mietiala, Kata Ori Saleh Al Hassan, said on Friday they can't put an end to open grace by fiat because grazing is not motorcycle business. There must be an alternative. Secondly, if they say they are going to end open grazing, what is the timeline timeline for it? They want to displace headers from where they end their livelihood. It is not different from an eviction notice. It is just putting the eviction notice into effect. This is very unfortunate because they cannot come out to say that they are embracing peaceful elders and say that they are ending open grazing. Hmm. So what do they mean by that? Is there closed grazing? From history, right from the time of Moses, grazing is open. By now, they should realize that they will not get the results they are looking for. We are in total support of the National Livestock Transformation Plan. I was part of the committee that reviewed the final document. The program has a lot of components, and if implemented, it will address a lot of challenges. Look at Benue State and how the approach has created a militia. You can't end open grazing by fiat as if someone is looking for a crisis, and these crises have a way of reverberating. Our son argued that asking s men to stop open grazing and begin ranching was tantamount to asking farmers to begin mechanization without which they wouldn't be able to do their farming activities. He added, if they say headers must begin ranching today, where is the ranch? For someone to develop a ranch, they need at least three or five years for it to mature. The facts are there. Ranches cannot be created overnight. They are just playing politics. On the issue of insecurity, he said herders had been victims of rustling and kidnapping had, and, that's, and that if insecurity was to be addressed, it was not by making it an ethnic issue because, according to him, there are criminals in every ethnic group. He said, it is sad because at the end of the day, we end up re radicalizing the herders. He said when they are radicalized, who will benefit? The country will suffer worse insecurity. That is why we are against this issue of eviction or ultimatum because it doesn't work like that. There have not been proper laws at the national level to address these challenges and the National Assembly is just playing to the gallery. Let there be proper laws. He said if there had been an increase in the elders moving from the north to the south, it could be due to climate change, insecurity, in the northeast, drought caused by environmental factors or Boko Haram. All this needs to be properly addressed via articulated policies. Politicians should address their differences. They should leave the headers alone. They are in the bush dealing with all kinds of challenges, he added. When reminded that Governor Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano State, who is also a northerner, had canvassed the restriction of the movement of headers from the north to south, Hassan said, that is where I disagree totally with the Kano state governor. Are they going to say, stay inside his house in Kano? You must create space for them and not just to talk. This is and this is a Kato Ori. Eh? They are something else. And this man that is there, whether he's their president or is their spokesperson, is always coming from the negative side. He's still the one who is always making an, an insightful statement. 
is saying that uh, whether they are going to be doing the ranching in in Governor Ganduje's uh, house, you guys are just there for trouble. There's no two ways about it. You are not. He's saying is that means he's not even accepting the fact that uh, these people are causing mayhem. No, he has not seen uh, videos of his people going to people's farm, even in the in the open, not even in the forest where we have uh, houses. People even in their uh, uh, in their own farms, not even in the forest, you see cattle all over the place, and their people are always antagonized. So, the farmers that are doing their farms, do they just go anywhere, or who provide the farm farms for them? This idea of making this a, a national, making cattle rearing a national thing, is not going to work. It is not going to work. This uh, arrogance and this pride that they are putting up is not going to work at all. If the southern leaders cannot take a, 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 a valid stand. Nigerian, the Southerners themselves will take stand against their own leaders who are not there to speak for them, who are not there to speak for their people. What kind of a, this thing is that? You guys will be keeping quiet. These people will just be making statements left, right, and center. Who is providing land for the farmers? All those farmers that we are seeing that they are crying out and they are showing us their farms that are the the, the what is it called? The cows have been eating up their crops. Is it government that provided that place for them? The doctor and a lot of people who are into farming now. Is it if it, is it government that provided the place for them? So if you they, they, every you can do anything anything you like, then the farmers should just go to the national stadium or any of the stadium or the whether it's the state stadium, just go and start doing your farming because you have right to stay anywhere. You have right to do anything. So it is the government that will provide this uh, uh, gov uh, land for you because that is what you have been doing so this idea of uh, have we not been seeing farmers or cow uh, this uh, s men in inside town where we don't even have farms inside town going back with their, with their cows inside town have we not seen that because bauchi government said that a uh, Anybody can stay anywhere. Nobody owns the bush. Nobody owns the whatever. Inside town that they are rearing, they are carrying their cattle up and down. Is it a inside forest? These people, there's something really wrong with them. There's something really wrong with them. Saying now that uh, even the the s men who are still victims of a... <laughs> mm. And you are moving from the north to south. Why can't you stay back and you are moving to the now? You are causing problem to the people. You say maybe due to climate change. Well, I don't blame them. It is what it is, though. This is what Buari has brought in. And Buari has an agenda. There is no two ways about it. He has it. We can't continue and be, and be dying in silence and be saying, oh, don't say this oh, because they are going to arrest you. No, that is just the way it is. So, guys, let's say your opinion concerning this uh, people again, saying that a uh, there's nothing like open grazing. They are daring everybody.